Welcome to the life of Seth. Right. <laughs> This is my chaos. As you can see, well, it's actually a lot tidier than it normally is. I was doing a review of uh, a camera lens, 24 to 70 Mark II for the Sony G Master series. So I did that and I rigged up uh, the phone to the camera there. You can see that's pretty cool. Yeah, Sony sent it to me in a really cool little black box. Got my coffee. It's actually tea today. <laughs> Got my workhorse right here. There's a microphone here. Everything I do on my laptop is on here. It's a nice light here. I have a beautiful little alcohol collection there that I never drink because I'm too busy working. And uh, yeah, when I have time, I put the microphone on and I do podcasts. There's, there's heaps of stuff that I do, but I want to share it more with you now. Um, being a part of the Sevo show, I feel that I need to be a bit more transparent and not need but want to i don't need to do anything i can live my life and uh just just be chill as it is and i've got this little microphone here oh it's probably picking that up eh anyway this is where we start today is day one today is monday the 16th of may 2022 and i'm just gonna take snippets of as much as I can around my day to day and uh, compile it all for you in a weekly episode on YouTube. And then from there, you'll find hilarious snippets that you probably found on TikTok and Instagram and maybe even LinkedIn that brought you here. So enjoy the show. Most of it is unproduced apart from the work that I do. Everything I talk about is true to the best of my knowledge. And I will always tell you things from my own personal observation it's never a, an agenda it's never a you must do this you must do this it's always you can try it it's always suggestive whatever you take out from these episodes from now on and into the future then uh, i wish you well and i hope that some of this is helpful please let me know what you think and uh cue intro if there is one i hope you're entertained and uh let's get to it i don't know how we would make that even more quicker or a lot more enthusiasm, but... Anyway, today I'm gonna go and field test this lens. So I'm not really a reviewer of tech, but I use it a lot and I can tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it without getting too nerdy. For the nerdy versions of things, check out my mates Andrew Murphy and uh, Jason Morris, he's the guy behind the lens, behind the camera that really knows his stuff when it comes to Sony equipment. And uh, a good friend of mine, um, I learn a lot from him. So that's the nerdy stuff. For me, I'm just going hard with it and going, yep, yeah, this is the one. What we're going to do next is we're gonna drive to the city and uh, go take some photos. And then we're gonna go to the movies and go watch the new Top Gun movie with my friend Eddie. That's exciting. It's only Monday. Let's get to it. I've got so much to do and I'll share that with you next. I'm gonna fill up my whiteboard soon and show you what I'm all about this week. And it's good because it keeps me accountable and gets me moving. If you're cheering for me, then great. I'm gonna be even more motivated to get through stuff because content is king, right? Let's do it. Ugh. So the movie premiere went well. I made a TikTok about it. Here it is. We're at the premiere of uh, Top Gun. If you had a call sign as a fighter pilot, what would it be and why? Probably the entertainer. And why? Because I do heaps of flips and shit. And uh, last night I was doing a TikTok live stream. During the live stream, I got a notification from my phone from a text message of someone going, do you want to go to Cairns tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll go on a uh, all expenses paid trip to Queensland and you know, make content. So here I am, about to head off. Got my boy Jason here with me. He's gonna take me uh, to the airport. He's a bit short. Wow. <laughs> Opportunities come round even last minute. Last night, I was uh, live streaming on TikTok and I got a message from a friend. Um, the boys from Cheat Meats. You can hit them up here. They were flown into Cairns through Hunt and Brew. Uh, this lovely company here, hopefully the White balance is, there it is. <laughs> but Hunt and Brew flew, flew them over to Cairns in Queensland to do some uh, promoting and they're gonna do some uh, cooking there with their brisket stuff and it's amazing. So I'm keen for that too. <laughs> Last night they uh, booked my flights and now we're driving to the airport to send it. I've got a lot of meetings to, to do right now. Between now and then I've got a meeting at 11 
a.m. So there's a bit of a challenge to get through check-in and stuff and be sitting in the uh, terminal waiting for my flight and uh, setting my laptop up on Zoom so I can have an, a meeting with someone else. One including TikTok, which is an important one. And then, yeah, on the flight, I've got my laptop. I'm gonna do some wedding photo editing because I can no longer do it at home. One o'clock fly out. Cue montage. Just landed in Cairns. Can't wait to take this mask off. These masks. Feels like it's uh, COVID all over again. No one's at the airport because it's so late at night. 11 p.m. Wednesday night. We're in Cairns, Queensland. I'm gonna go to the hotel room. I think I'm gonna get picked up. See if the boys are there. Alright, mask off. Ah, the f part when uh, your ears are f and you're just trying to pop them. Now I'm waiting for the boys from uh, Cheat Meats to pick me up. Hopefully the pub's still open. Yeah, I didn't get much footage on the plane because it's the same. F I don't fit and the toilets are too small. Okay, in the elevator of the hotel. Oh, 273. 273, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. 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 yeah. Oh, doubles. Doubles. We're doing we're doing bouncies on each of those two. Bang bang. Got a balcony. We'll have a look at that later. Oh, there's a pool there. <laughs> yeah, pool time. Bathroom, bathtub. I'll be not fitting in that at all. How's how's that? Zoom right in on that. Just that's just how's that? There's my feet. There's my head. Moments like this, you just got to appreciate the people that you make friends with who look out for you and make that happen with you. Shout outs to the boys. Already forgot where I'm going. <laughs> May as well introduce you to the boys, the crew, the guys that got me here. We're on to have some bevos, and then the next couple of days, they will get quite messy in a good way. Leon. Welcome. Puppy cat. Puppy. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly feels like Kalgoorlie. Have you been to Cal? It's like cow but with palm trees. Yeah, and humid. We're going to the Cass tomorrow morning, breakfast, and then other sh Probably not going to be able to film inside the Cass. Probably a good thing because I don't win money much. That's why I don't gamble. Three hours later. Walking home from the Cass. My one rule is I'm not allowed to use a map to see if I can get back. And I'm a little bit intoxicated. And I want to see if I can get back without using a map somewhere that I've never been before. The casino was about four or five blocks away, so ah, oh, I made it. <laughs> I did it. Yay. The next morning. So it's uh, Thursday now, and uh, this is outside with the pool. I don't know what the uh, ISO is doing there, but uh, it's looking rather nice. I'm here for the Hunt and Brew event. I'm excited because we're going to get to the farm. And uh, I think I'm, I've decided to do a series. I'm going to launch a series, whether it's on TikTok and expanding it to YouTube, but uh, I'm going to call it Learn With Sev. And I'm just going to go do sh and teach people about it. So first episode, inaugural, we're going to go with this here. Let's get that focus. There we go. We're going to head over to the Hunted Brew and we're going, I'm going to teach you how this is made from all the way from the coffee beans being uh, picked out of the bushes or the, the farm, to being roasted, to being cooked with some ingredients to make the flavors all nice, and also bottled and served to you at your local servo. <laughs> um, so that's gonna be today. Anyway, breakfast is on them, downstairs in the hotel. Let's get some free food. This is my welcome note. Novotel Hunt and Brew. Gave me a uh, drink on me, on us. That's cute. Use that later. And some sunnies. Moku. Did you get breakfast for free if you didn't vlog about it? No. Nope. Yes, sir. Round two. They have a gelatissimo conference. And I really want to crash it because ice cream and shit. I still got a ear plug thing. Do you guys have a remedy for that? Like, after a flight, if one of your ears is still plugged, how do you unplug it? <laughs> Doesn't work. It stays plugged for like a day and it's annoying. All aboard the coffee bus. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Loves oh, this hey, coffee. Yeah, <laughs> so Nat, why 
cans of all places for this specific uh, blend for your drink? Because cans produces uh, Australia's coffee beans. Uh, the climate here is perfect for growing beautiful coffee beans, and we are fortunate enough to get the first commercial quantity of coffee beans for the Hunter Brew product. And how long has it been in the making for? Oh, for years. For years we've been trying to find a farm in Australia that can supply enough coffee for Hunter Brew, and we finally found one, which we're visiting today. Now, uh, we haven't broken down, just uh, having a rest because uh, we're waiting for something else to happen. But I'm stretching my legs because I don't like sitting down for very long. We're in the fields of uh, coffee. Fields and fields of coffee. I get a bit of hay fever, so I can't really smell it that well. So hopefully, the closer I get, the more potent the smell is. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry for yeah, you. We've got a couple of dinosaur bones here. Oh, ready for this is exclusively for me. At most events, you'll find me right here at the grazing table. If you want me to come to your event, you may have a grazing table like this, and I'm almost a guarantee. Part of the Australian launch. We're super excited to uh, partner with Hunt and Brew. <laughs> All right, what do they got for the Bevos? Pink gin soda. You got the ginger beer as well. A vodka soda. That looks like a winner too. That looks so nice. Hunt and Brew, yeah. Look at that presentation. Oh, nice. We're about to go into a farm tour <laughs> and see where the beans come from. Coffee will take about three years until it fruits and we can get a harvest off it. All right, let's give this a go. First time. Yeah, it tastes like a berry. <laughs> Could be sweeter, but I wouldn't hope to survive on it, but yeah, it'll do. That's what it looks like. Some tastings. Yeah. yeah. What's your money on? Brazil. 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 <laughs> like, so when you do it, so it make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the way to some crocodile farm with uh, with Corey. Just in the luggage compartment. We've got, we've got M, we've got Ed at the front doing business, and we've got the Italian stallion having a drive. Hey, 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 eyes on the road. With his bangers. Arrived at the crocodile farm. About to enter and crocodile shit. Going home, good times. I kind of like going home on a Saturday because when you get home, you still have a good day and a bit to just chill. Should we do it? What? Get out of here. Yes. Let's go. Should we grab some souvenirs? Didn't even, I thought that was a host who walked past me then for a second. We are on our way back now to Perth, final leg, five hour flight. Absolutely. Ed's stoked, stoked to be going home. Every time. Alright, I better update you guys for what's happening. Move the camera there. So, I am back from Cairns. We were promoting this drink. First in the world to brew the coffee from beans that were farmed in the same country, as was the milk. So, everything was made in Australia. First ever coffee drink in the world to do that. I'm shocked because coffee's been around for a while. Commercially, it's been around probably around 120 or so years. The two biggest places in the world for farming coffee are Brazil and Vietnam. And none of them have their own bottled drink. Now there are other coffees out there, not going to mention them because they're competitors, but 
They're all from exported beans from other places in other countries. But Hunt and Brew comes in clutch in the first ever Australian brewed coffee to release its own drink. Again, coffee is farmed here in cans. That's where we went. We went to the farm and then we went and uh, drank all this and had some good times and stuff. And <laughs> it's legit. Now, if you look at the back of the label, we have, check this out. No added ingredients, it's just coffee, milk, and water. That's it. And my favorite part is there's no added sugar. There is 6.4 grams of sugar per serve. That's one drink, 6.4 grams. That's it, that's it. Oh, I mean, if you are a sugar person, you can add it into yourself and we'll make content about that later, but this is the future. And I can't wait to promote it even more because you know, there's gonna be a vertical version of this on TikTok, but I'm excited. I'm genuinely excited. Genuinely excited enough that uh, I got my own Hunt and Brew merch with the rhino on the back. It's not quite the kangaroo, but we're there. Um, in other news, we have something else to promote. And I'm excited about this because I'm all about lighting as well. Shout outs to Andrew Murphy again. Here is his channel once more, shout outs. He hooked me up with a plug from Nanlite and I've got two Nan lights that I'm gonna mess around with in the field and also at home. They're not super strong, but they're compact. And that was the aim to see what sort of magic I can do with them. So I'm gonna make that content later. Um, this lens, the 72, 24, 24, 70, 1 point, uh, sorry, 2.8. This is going to be sold. This is sold to one of my interns. His name's uh, Jarek. And uh, he's gonna pick it up when I get the Mark II. You saw the review before. That's about it for now, for this week. It kind of wraps up um, what happened last week in Cairns. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of May. This week has been hectic. I've just been doing workshops, uh, TikTok workshop, um, and content creation workshops on how to perform better on TikTok um, and amongst other platforms. Uh, yesterday, I had a meeting with a new a specific digital agency for business, so that's exciting. And then tomorrow, I've got a wedding. So I'm shooting a wedding uh, in the afternoon. Friday's a little bit more chill. I'm probably gonna be doing a bit more editing for the clients and posting some stuff up, getting some more content in the afternoon, which will be cool. And then uh, Saturday, another wedding, a big one, all day wedding, I'm covered for that. So I'm gonna share with you some stuff uh, in the wedding space uh, to see um, my life in that. You can follow me on Sev's Weddings right here on Instagram and uh, join in that journey there. And there's a lot of stories coming out from that soon. So uh, in the second episode of Sev's Life, the Sevo Show something, I'm gonna call it um, for my YouTube channel in amongst other things like TikTok, we're going to, yeah, dive deep into what I actually do on the regular daily basis, majority of the time. And it's either weddings, consulting, and personal TikTok creation, and playing around with products like this. And then let's go from there. And anything else that happens in between, I'm keen to share it to you. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get it happening. <laughs>